All right, here we go again. <laughs> it hits hard, but you can't kill her. Look at that, she full healed herself. She is invincible. You can't kill her. Look, she's going to top herself up. <laughs> Fushuan is finally here. I'm going to summon on her. When I started this game, I've already decided I'm going to summon on pretty much everyone. And I may summon on uh, their light cones, depending on how good it is. I do think her light cone is really good. Definitely not free to play friendly, but here we go. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Who else is on the battle? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, we got links and some pretty good light cones. So there's actually a lot of dupes I wouldn't mind on here. So hopefully I don't get screwed on the 50-50 again. I got screwed on the last banner. End up getting a Clara. Not really too thrilled about that, but let's see where this goes. All right, more dupes. I'll take as many dupes as possible. Let's see who we get. Yes, my first one. Definitely will take that. All right, and oh, we got another one. Yes, I will take that too. And let's see what we got here. Oh, yes, that's on my blade. I'm using this light cone for my blade. That's really good too. All right, so this is my five star. I've reached the soft pity. I think 70 pulls. I, I've lost my count. Let's see who we get. Come on, don't lose the 50-50. Who are we gonna get? Who we okay oh, <laughs> scared me for a second there? Uh let's go. Oh, a sample light cone. Another lynx. Pretty good, pretty good. Here we go. Oh no! <laughs> what? How? I got her last time. That's E2 now. Both by losing the 50-50. Oh my god. All right, let's keep going. All right, who we got? Oh, another Lynx. Pretty good, pretty good. I'll take that. My um, dupes for the characters and uh, some light cones are actually pretty good. Yeah, see what I mean? I got a dupe Pela. Take that too. All right, so I'm out of my currency. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, $200 later. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, another pale. I'll, I'll take that again. I can use it. All right, who did I get? Oh, another link. So one of the good things about losing the 50-50 is I get a lot of copies of the four stars. Okay, this is my final pull, my guaranteed summon for Fushuan since I lost the 50-50. So, but let's see who else I get on there. Boom, there she is. Damn, I got a lot of dupes on my four stars. Can I? Oh, I almost got her E6. Oh, that's so tempting to go back in. So tempting, but I'm just going to have to wait for the next banner she's on. All right, I had to drop another hundred bones to get the light cone. You know, I don't always get the light cone, but I do think her light cone is worth it. And I, I put her in a category where she's her longevity is going to be good, kind of like Silver Wolf. Where you can kind of plug her into pretty much any team and they're going to do good. So I'm willing to invest in these characters. Oh yes, I want more of these light cones too. All right, let's see. Holy crap, we got three light cones. Dupes of those. I will definitely take them. All right, so this is my guaranteed. Hopefully don't lose the 50-50 here. It really hurts losing the 50-50. Yeah, all of you know, especially free to plays. Um, if you're a spender, it's going to cost about another 150 bucks just to get back in. Um, yeah, I'd rather not spend that, but here we go. Here we go. Yes, we got it. Got it. All right, let's get her leveled up. Uh, hopefully I have enough. I spent a lot of resources to get my march up. Oh no, I don't have enough. Only level 67. I could probably get her 70. I'm definitely not going to get her to 80. Oh, man. I do have enough resources to get the light cone to 80. So that's good. Um, I'm going to have to grind a little bit of mass to get it leveled up. Um, I don't like the relics that I currently have. I have some that are just kind of okay. And I'm not quite sure what set I really want to go with. I definitely want to do the... Um, the two piece uh, set here for HP. 
and then I don't think um, I want to go four piece set I'll probably do a two piece of some other set but um, let me look around and see what I got okay so I ended up um, going with purple gear mainly because of my um, rope which is an ERR rope and I need the 120 speed I don't have speed boots so um, I just used the purple gear that has some speed on it uh, I'm most likely going to replace this uh, by the end of the week but I just want to kind of like get into uh, the Swarm Disaster 5 and just try it out so I have exactly 120 speed um, a decent amount of HP just a, a decent amount of stats and I found this chest piece <laughs> with outgoing healing boost I'm just going to try to throw this on there and I don't know let's just see let's see how it works all right, so I'm going to try Nihility. Th my thinking is that her damage mitigation um, is definitely going to help, maybe even carrying me through. I got Japart on there just in case if I need the shields. And I'm very uh, low on DPS though, especially in this early phases. But let's just see what happens. Yeah, so my damage is low, kind of to be expected. It normally is. Um, with uh, dot teams in the beginning until you start doing your blessings um, but I'm purposely like not using my shield just to see how much damage mitigation I get and it's looking pretty good so far all right going into the first boss now I normally avoid the ape because he one shots me even with shields um, so but I want to see how well she actually does with damage mitigation so I'm going to try the ape Okay, the Apes OE, AOE um, didn't, yeah, didn't hit as hard as it normally does. Um, yeah, they're definitely not hitting that hard. It's notice, noticeable already, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw up shields just in case. Alright, the Ape's about to do his uh, single attack damage. That <laughs> barely did any damage. What? That usually one-shots my characters if I don't have the right like propagation blessings. Dude, that only took like maybe one-third of her health. Wow, wow, this is so much easier now. All right, here we go again. <laughs> it hits hard, but you can't kill her. Look at that, she full healed herself. She full healed herself. Her paired with Luocha is invincible. She cannot die. <laughs> wow, um, yeah. This is definitely going to make the Swarm Disaster so much easier. Alright, here we go again. Let's see. About one third. Another one third. Luo <laughs> just passive heals her. And she's going to heal herself with her ultimate. And she's back to full health. <laughs> Alright, the ape is yeah just too easy now with her. Um, keep in mind, remember, I'm in purple gear. Okay, let's hop over to the second boss. Let's see how she'll work out. Um, I'll try Svarog. Um, I'm pretty sure she'll actually do pretty good against Kokolio, but um, since he can burst me down too, uh, let's see how well she works against him. So she's targeted. They, so they're attacking her. Look at that. Not even that much damage. That would actually not one shot someone, but do a lot of damage. And when they focus someone down or focus on someone, they can focus them down. She didn't even go like halfway and she just topped back up. Passive healing. <laughs> she is invincible. Invincible. All right. So sometimes this can kill someone. Yep. Look at that. It did about what? 60, 65% of her health. And she just self healed. Passive self healed herself all the way 100%. Still got Luocha there. Just ready to back her up. Wow. Um, yeah, just unkillable. She might make the game way too easy. So, yeah, if, I would say free to play is, man, if you can summon, you're probably going to want to get a copy of her. If you miss out on her, I mean, you can still beat all the content without her. She's just going to make it easier. Um, you don't want to miss out on her. All right, let's jump into the third boss and let's see how she does. 
Uh, I was going to put um, Fire MC or Japard on here to get a little bit of shields, but you know, she's doing really well. So I decided just leave Sampo on there for more damage. Um, hopefully I don't need the shield. So I also have the blessings where when they take dot damage, I heal up, what is it, like 1%? And also if I heal another um, team member, uh, other team members will get healed. So there's a lot of passive healing going on between Fushan, um, Locha, and my blessings. What are you doing? You can't kill her. Look at this. Passive heal. Topped up. She's going to take some more damage and just heal right back up either with the dots or passive. Luocha. Wow. It's so easy. It's like I'm, I'm not even trying. So I'm in the second phase now. I mean, I'm just chipping them down. I'm doing decent damage. Um, pretty good dot damage. And, you know, it should... Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. She just got one shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a wipe. This is a wipe now. <laughs> so she is killable. She is killable. Oh, so you do need a shield. A, a small shield. So Fire MC might be all you need just to make her live. And also keep in mind, she's only level 70 with purple gear. So level 80 with better gear. She might be able to tank that. I don't know. Still probably might need the shield or just a couple of preservation blessings just to make her a little bit tankier but i got all the way to the final boss second phase pretty easily with barely even trying with really crap gear so she is making a significant impact on um swarm disaster anyways that's it for me hopefully you got her on your 50 50 and you didn't lose like me and hopefully she does make your gaming experience much better. But till then, I'll see you on the next one.